About uh, two months ago, you know, um, my doctor informed me that my PSA levels were high when I had a blood test. So they decided that I, just to make sure, I should have a biopsy, which is where when they operate, they take about 20 or 30 samples from your prostate to make sure that they've covered it all, send it off to the labs and then tell you whether you're okay or not. Unfortunately, um, I was told uh, I have cancer, uh, which at the time, the first, when I was told, it didn't really sink in and anyway, I've got this attitude now of um, it, the worst that can happen is I will die and that isn't really the worst that can happen because I'll be going to meet my maker. Uh, the worst that can happen as far as I'm concerned is if I was to die and leaving Kathleen behind knowing that over the next few years her condition is going to worsen. Um, so after a couple of days, it, it was, I felt quite shocked. Uh, I've taken a while to get my head round it properly. Despite my belief um, in God, it's still, I'm living on this planet at the moment and, and I've got deal with life. The only side, only effect I'm getting at the moment is the reason I'm not doing it anywhere near as much as I used to is because um, the medication that I'm on actually is really making my back feel like I've, it feels like I've been stabbed in the back a lot of the time. But other than that, um, the good news was I went to the hospital yesterday because I literally, the day after they diagnosed me with cancer, they sent me off to have an MRI and a bone scan to see whether it had spread into my bones. Um, and yesterday when I went to the hospital to have me injection, a free monthly injection that I need to have for the next two years, um, I was given the all clear as far as having it, get, it got into my bone. So that is a tremendous relief because it's, I think that's part of the reason why I've been a bit depressed and, and struggling with it because I, I've just been worrying about, I knew if it get into your bones, it's really advanced. So it is treatable. So... The thing is, I'm going to be a couple of years taking medication. The medication has side effects of one sort or another. Um, but I know that at the end of it, uh, I should be getting the all clear, which means I can stay around for a lot longer for Kathleen. Would you want to tell them the scare? in that bone scan when they injected the radioactive material in no you. i don't need to go into that much detail thank you honey okay i love you i love you thank you everyone for listening uh see you all again soon um everybody any we, we all have problems uh keep your head up and things work out one way or the other uh things work out you know, and like I say, if you have the faith, I think if you're unfortunate enough to be in a position where you have been given a diagnosis, um, which is terminal, I think if you can find the faith in Jesus and God, I think you'll find that it's a lot easier to face because before before I knew whether it was going to be terminal or not, my mindset is it's the worst thing that happens is I die. That's over for me. I'm going up there to see see my maker, but I've got to leave Kathleen down here. And that Kathleen's my concern. 
That's why I don't want to go yet. <laughs> You're my angel. <laughs> anyway, onwards and upwards. Bye bye.